So today we're going to talk a little bit about the self-sacrificing principle of galvanization and why it matters so much to keep your permanent installation permanent in any kind of application, let's say in a feed yard or a bunker or even a squeeze chute or something like that. So we've got here a traditional piece of W-beam guardrail. This section is shaped in kind of like a W. And this has been coated on all points here with a coating of zinc galvanization. And what is happening with galvanization, when it's put on a piece of metal, it begins to rust and it rusts very slowly. You'll know that you've probably had something, whether it be a fence post or something that was bright and shiny galvanized when it showed up, but then after a few years, it goes gray, it turned, it's grayed out. But after that happens, it slows the oxidizing process way, way down. And now for the self-sacrificing principle, which is why the, if you have steel here that has an exposed edge, which we have an exposed edge right here, this was punched after galvanization. So you've got an exposed edge of the steel right here and all that area. And it's been exposed for years on the roadside as this was hanging out in its service being a, a guardrail section on the side of the road, but it's still not rusted here. Well, the reason is, is the self-sacrificing principle means that the galvanization here is going to be preferred and the oxidization process is going to happen here instead of here. Only after all of the guardrail zinc rust off, which I don't know, that might take 250, 500 years. After that happens, then it's going to begin to prefer the, uh, the exposed edge of the steel here. So that's why we refer to it as a self-sacrificial process. If you were to score this and take off the exterior of that zinc and expose the iron that's underneath, it's still not going to rust because it has all of this galvanization, all this zinc that it's going to prefer to oxidize first before it gets down to the steel. So that's why we can have this out here doing its work on the American roadway, uh, road sides where it's going to serve there for, for decades and decades and then it can come and serve you and your feedlot or your cattle uh, management applications because this section is not going to be affected by rain and snow and sun and things like that that's going to wear down and create condensation or create oxidization. What's going to happen is going to stay out there and continue to serve you for decade after decade. And that's the power that we want to pass on to you.